Hello and welcome to the fifth season of the Sabre Roar. I'm Joe. And I'm Alec. Like the rest of the school, the Sabre Roar is currently under construction, so please pardon our mess. In this first episode, we will be covering everything homecoming, the race for the spirit stick, as well as a few updates on our school's progress. Students started showing their Sabre pride by dressing up for the first spirit week of the school year. On Monday, each grade was given a different team to support for Wisconsin Pride Day. Students were very excited for Duck Dynasty Day, where they had the opportunity to dress up as their favorite characters from the show. Wednesday, it was grass skirts, coconut bras, and bro tanks for Hawaiian Day. This was followed with red, white, and blue for Patriot Day. All of this led up to the students' favorite for the pep rally, Black and Gold Day. Participation this year was exceptional, so keep up the school spirit. As parents and students gathered on 51st Street to enjoy the parade, Athletic Director Mrs. Unertle and the Sabre Spirit Club were doing all of their last minute preparations. Even though the parade only lasts about 20 minutes, the planning starts long before. It takes a long time to organize the homecoming parade. Uh, we are already starting to look at next year's parade and what day to do homecoming. Many groups apply for a spot in the parade, but the Sabre Spirit Club have control of who gets a float in the parade. We have a parade form that groups can fill out to reserve a spot in the parade. Although all of the floats were great, the sophomores were awarded spirit points for making the best float. Despite the wet weather, this year's parade was a hit and got everyone's spirit warmed up for the annual Powder Puff game. The Lady Sabres got a chance to show off their football abilities and earn spirit points for their classes. The sophomores were able to defeat the seniors in the first round by one touchdown in the last minute of the game, ending with a final score of 14-7. to The juniors dominated throughout the game against the freshmen with a score of 21-7. to The finals took place on the football field under the lights in front of enthusiastic fans. Jada had some key interceptions and Josie had some impressive runs for the junior team. But they were unable to stop the incredible passes made by Carly and two amazing touchdown catches by Abby, which secured the sophomores with the win with a final score of 28-14. to The sophomore team won the Powder Puff game for the second year in a row, putting them in a great position to win the Spirit Stick again. This year's pep rally was full of surprises and excitement, which began with the FHS Hunger Games and ended in a surprise wedding proposal. Last year we did the Hunger Games and that went over really, really well. So what we decided to do this year is, is bring that back again, but with a little bit of a twist. So we had the lights off, we had the glow necklaces. There was a lot of really good athletes out on the floor. So that made it exciting. The teamwork of Dexter and Melissa gained spirit points for the junior class. The pep rally also brought the return of Mr. Brown's relay race, which was won by the Lightning Fast Seniors. There was also the traditional crowning of homecoming queen and king, Megan and August. But the highlight of this year's pep rally was the surprise marriage proposal from gym teacher Mr. Weiske to math teacher Ms. Smollett, which really made this year's pep rally one of a kind. Ms. Smollett said yes, and they hope to get married next summer. Also, this was the first spirit stick win for the junior class. Hey, buddy. Did you get out? Congrats to juniors, but watch out. We... Get out of here! Where was I? Congrats, juniors, but watch out. We plan on winning the stick bag during the junior prom pep rally. Franklin's homecoming game was a huge blowout against their neighbors to the south, Kenosha Tremper. The Franklin Sabres were firing at all cylinders as they squared off against Kenosha Tremper for this year's homecoming game. Right out of the gates, the Sabres owned the field with two unanswered touchdowns in the first quarter. At every turn, the Sabres were there and ready to run over Tremper all the way up to the halftime where it was 41 Sabres and zero Tremper. In the fourth quarter, Tremper scored a touchdown, but by then the Sabres were already proven no match to their commanding lead. At the end of the game, Franklin demolished Kenosha 55-7. The Franklin Sabres are undefeated in their conference and they hope to continue their success in the playoffs. And now, please excuse this interruption. For the first ever construction production. It's been over a year since the referendum for a new school edition was passed. And FHS students have seen many new developments in and around their school. Some of the biggest things to expect from the construction are the development of an auditorium, an academic edition, a two-story edition, and new art and Project Lead the Way spaces as well. We're in early October and the project is very much on schedule. We had some 
slow down during the summer for various reasons, but we're definitely on track. The academic edition and the auditorium edition out front are beginning to take shape, which should um, signal to people that we're definitely making progress. Students and staff patiently await the completion of these new school additions. The construction is tentatively due to be finished in January of 2015. Until then, we'll need to roll with the punches as parking, entrances, office, and traffic patterns change throughout the school. That's all from us here at the Sabre... You guys are guys, sorry. Wait, what? Whoa! No, 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 stop! Get back! Get back.